I grew up just among this wealth of minority, and it always occurred to me that the wealth of any community was based upon how many different cultural groups contributed to its cohesiveness, right? And I write about that a bunch. I mean, I try to, I, I try to write about people that you would never imagine having contributed to the social welfare, the social um, adhesive of any given community who weren't rich and white, right? But in many, many cases, they weren't. They were Chinese, Filipinos. I mean, the, the, the wealth that they brought in the community, the, the educational variety, the food varieties. I mean, California wouldn't have had a, 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 a wine culture, a vintage culture you know, whatsoever if it hadn't been for poor French, poor Portuguese, poor Swiss you know, coming into California. Uh, wouldn't have had a major fishing industry at all without poor Portuguese, Italians, and Chinese. It's uh, orchard culture for peaches, pears, apples. These are, Japanese had a heavy, heavy influence on this because they were the ones that knew more about grafting than anybody else. So I write about those minorities because I, I find they, have, they contribute such value to the culture, I mean, such value to the food. There's another thing, too. There's, there's, without these, the multiplicity of minorities, there's no variety to, to mental process. There's no variety to the way people view themselves and the cultures they live in, right? Um, I found it really, really interesting. And I, I think the wealth of a, of, of a, of a nation stands on the, uh, I, I, the cohesive loyalty of its minorities.